up, guys? I am here at Nashville, and I'm with my good friend. Bailey Amaya. So, Bailey, what do you think of the Nashville show? I think it's good. I come to the show every year, so I think it's really good, and I think it progressively gets better. Yes. It's a good vibey car show. You know, I feel like it's one where everyone could just kind of hang out. Oh, yeah? From all, have you been to, you've been to Nashville many times, right? Yes, yes years. Has it ever changed? Has oh. it grown? Um... I think it's definitely grown. I remember the first year I've gone, it definitely has grown for sure. But maybe that also, I might think that because I've also made more friends over the years. Good. So good. maybe that's why it's grown to me. Yeah. But in my opinion, yeah. yeah. Okay, good. We got to keep it real, keep it honest, 100%. Yeah. What do you think of the car builds so far? I think they're good. I think, like, especially Sunday. Sunday's always Sunday better. Sunday's yeah. Clapping, right? Yes, okay. Sunday's always better. Um, of course, there's a few things. I mean, everyone has their own opinions, but True. there's, of course, True. a few things that I'm like, eh, but there is a lot of really, really good stuff, like okay. this. Of course. <laughs> of course. This lovely green monster. Your model, right? You can say that. Okay. A little bit. I, I feel like if you're going to take pictures with cars and, you're, and you look good and you love doing it, then why not just be a model? Yeah. I mean, there's different yeah. types of models. Yeah. For a very, very long time, and uh, I enjoy it much more now. I feel like it's a lot more inclusive now, and every yeah. everybody, like all the girls in the model community, everything is just amazing, okay. amazing. I love everyone. Right. Well, that's good as long as you enjoy it, because some some people don't enjoy it because of like I don't know, maybe favoritism, maybe like competition. There is competition. There's some girls that get into it, and they just yeah. realize it's not for them, and that is completely okay, completely. Everyone finds their own like little niche inside of the car community. And, yes. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. You have multiple too. I think that's how it is with a lot of models. Is, I, hopefully it's how it is with everyone, but yeah. at least in my group, I feel like we're always supportive of other girls. Girls will come up to us and they're like, oh, I want to try modeling. Like, and, just fine. and we're yeah. like, get on the car. Get, come on in there. Yeah. I mean, it, it may not be for everybody, right. but, but they wanted to try. Yeah. And I always say for girls too, I'm like, if you feel uncomfortable, don't do it. But if you want some beautiful pictures of yourself, yeah. even if you just want to do it one time, do it. Because I think you will love the pictures when you get them back. Everyone deserves a really good picture of themselves to feel hot. you did it, right? Yes, and just feel hot, feel confident. Yes. And if it's not for you, the fact that you did it cool if not it's not for everybody because of you know the whole yeah. you gotta be skinny or whatever I mean love yourself do what you love and just fucking full send it basically and then go from there and people who support you will support you people who don't yeah fuck them you know what I mean so what other shows will you be at later on this year are you booked out this year it's a little bit different okay. normally um, I go to a bunch of shows um, I think I might be taking a little bit of a break for a while up okay. until GAT which I know even GAT I mean, it's a... Oh, I mean, Sevierville? Uh, Sevierville. Se yeah. <laughs> We're still calling it GAT, okay? It's just GAT, GAT Part 2. <laughs> but... 2.0. I like doing all different kinds of stuff, but I am making a pretty big purchase this year, so I need to take a break from oh, some shows. I wonder what that could be. <laughs> I don't know. She probably won't tell me. But, okay, so Low on the Levee, which is basically my area, because I'm in northern Kentucky. Cincy, what up? Just kidding. Um, but yeah, that Low on the Levee, and then are you going to Slam Enough, Ohio, maybe? We were, but we're not. We're having a friend come in town, so we're actually not going to go to that. That's why I'm like, I think I'll go to Low at the Levee, because I'm in Kentucky, I'm in Louisville, okay. and it's only like, what, two hour. hours, like an hour and a half, two uh, yeah. away. It's yeah, about, it's not yeah. that bad at all. I'm already off work, so. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, and Chicago, so are you for sure going to Chicago? That I'm not sure. So Chicago, every year we do a girls trip. I put together um, like a full like model, not even just model, just okay. girl trip in general. Yeah. And we either get like an Airbnb or a really big hotel yeah. with like multiple rooms. Um, and we just try and actually get different girls to come so that okay. we can meet them. And if anyone wants to go into the car scene, get into modeling or just meet other girls and hang out. Okay. I yeah. get a bunch of girls together. That's actually how, so me, Taylor, Brooke and Lauren were like, those are like my best friends and Sky, but Sky hasn't stayed with us yeah. for that trip. That's how we met. We put together a little girls trip for Chicago and now we're like best friends. This year is like a 50-50 you would say? Yeah, well at first we were like, so last year it just kind of ended up being a little bit of a shit show. It was like parking and I had some things go wrong with the car and I was like, I'm not doing Chicago next year. But now it's getting closer yeah, and I'm yeah. like, oh, I want to do Chicago. I want to do a girls trip again. <laughs> yes, yes, I mean, why not? I mean, every why girl not? needs a break from their life. Hopefully, right? Hopefully. Because I'm, I'm going to go there for sure because I've never been to Ch Chicago. I'm like 65, 70 percent sure that I'm going. Okay. I think. Well, just say she's going. And if she doesn't, <laughs> you'll know in my video for sure. <laughs> well, thank you, Bailey, for taking the time to have this interview with me. And, of course, showing Sky's lovely Porsche. Um, what is your Instagram? Uh, Bailey Amaya. But... 
My name's spelled a little weird. B A Y L E E. I will put it in the bottom of the video because I am not going to remember it for sure. But thank you so much. I will catch you guys in the next interview, whoever the fuck it may be. Catch you later. Bye, bitch. Guys, I'm here with another interview at Slam Enough Nashville. I'm with my buddy, Martin. So, Martin, what do you think of the show so far? So, this is my third or fourth SE Nashville, and it's awesome that it's still going on. Uh, it's grown. The car quality has grown. It, due to unpopular beliefs, some people feel like it's just the same or it's it's been like stagnant. But to me, from the first time I went to SE Nashville to where we are today, yeah. I feel like I've seen some killer cars come through the years. Take two. Take two. So how long have you been with the Slammed Enough team? Uh, I've been with Slammed Enough since 2016. How do you like so far being on the team and, I guess, what, traveling with them? Yeah, uh, man, it's been a blessing in disguise. So I just had this conversation with somebody else. Yeah. Coming from someone that was just a regular showgoer, paying admissions to get in and not knowing a single person. It, you know, I mean, I knew a Charlin, I knew of yeah. like, the cars and stuff like that, but like not necessarily like admi not uh, not admiring. What's the word I'm looking for? But like you know, looking up to or you know like influence, influence uh, mentor, stuff like mentor mentors, mentors, yeah, okay. something like that. Like looking up to them to like you know working shoulder to shoulder with them. Yeah. It's it's been a wild ride. Like I've it's been an experience for sure, and I definitely don't regret it one bit. I've learned a lot about car shows, putting on car shows, and I've also learned a lot about myself as well. Did anybody inspire you to be in the car scene, or how did you get into the car scene? Um, it was probably my uncle. He, uh, the very first time I went over 100 miles an hour was in his IROC Camaro. Ever since then, I fell in love with speed. Uh, I was telling you the other day, I wasn't really into, like, stance. Like, you know, well, I guess I, I don't know. But, uh, like, the very first car that I saw was, like, on a lowrider magazine. And it was a 64 Impala, you know, your stereotypical, uh, lowrider. And that pivoted to, you know, me looking at other cars. And then the one time I went over 100 miles an hour, like, it was all about speed since then. And I, from drag racing to track days, time attack, stuff like that, like I, I'm all about being yeah. pinned in my seat. But I do have an appreciation for stance cars and the whole stance movement. You know, it does take a level of commitment and a level of skill to try and build these cars the proper way. Like, you know, everybody thinks like, oh, you throw a wrap on a car, throw wheels, suspension, it, it's it, it's, it's a stance car. But I'm like, there's people that have been doing this for a while, like the old heads. Yeah they know who they are. There's actual math that goes into how much, what you need to build the wheels properly to the suspension geometry. There's yeah. a whole different thing. People will argue with me all day long, but I've tried doing it and it's harder than it seems. Thank you for the interview. Thank you for taking the time to have a chat with me. And, and I'll see you around, give it a show. Oh, what's your Instagram? Oh, my Instagram is Rufio70, or 726, R-U-F-I-O 726. Hell yeah, I'll put that in the bottom of the screen on the video. And be sure to follow him, he's my good friend of mine. So I'll see you at the future shows, brother. Yeah, right Terry Yaki Boy out. Guys, we're here with another interview with my buddy Jack O'Brien. All right, Jack, what do you think of the show? Um, as my first time being here at Slam Up Nashville and the second day, honestly, I love it. There, there's great quality cars all the way around. 
plenty of people that I don't get to see from all over the country here, of yeah. course. That's like the best part of car shows, if you ask almost anybody, is seeing people from all over the place that you don't get to see very often. I got to see some of them last weekend at Riverside, but we're running it back again. So, How far are you from here? Uh, I'm in Chicago, so it's about a seven, seven and a half hour drive. Have you walked around today and seen your favorite car yet? It's hard to put a pinpoint on my favorite because I like so many different things, but I would have to say... I'm a little biased because it's my friend's car, but my friend Brandon, uh, he's got his red SCI hatch over there at the JD Customs booth. That thing makes 813 wheel, like nothing. Uh, his hatch makes about 813 wheel horsepower, like nothing. And it, 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 the thing rips, he beats the absolute hell out of it, and it just takes it. it, it I've never seen a more reliable Subaru, let alone just a, just a stance car in general. Like, it looks good in the shows, it can perform on the street, and it continues to do so. Have you ridden it yet? I have. It's terrifying. I, I built some fast cars. That thing's terrifying. Especially the all-wheel drive anti-lag uh, anti -lag, lag launch. It's ridiculous. I'm, a, I'm always afraid when it comes to driving other people's cars, the clutch sensitivity, whether it's stiff or soft. Yes. Same thing what I did with uh, my buddy Tim uh, with his S2K yesterday. The seat was not stable. Like, I kept... Yeah, right. I kept doing this, and I was like, I'm about to, I'm about to stall. I'm about to stall his car, and I'm gonna hurt his motor. But he's not there. It always feels weird because, like, your first time, you, like, even if you know how to drive manually, you do it every day. You do it all the time for work, whether you work in a shop. Yeah. There's always that learning curve with a new car, or even if you've driven that kind of car before. Let's say it's you know 1500 horsepower, and it's got some triple disc clutch in it. You know, it's yeah. it's not gonna be the most ideal thing to start off with and learn. So you might stall a couple times, but you just gotta you gotta learn. That's how that's how everyone learns. So. And I feel bad because I did stall in his car. Sorry, Tim. Do not get mad at me. I did stall in your car twice. <laughs> Maybe three times. Forgive me. But you gave me permission to move it. You got a point. Yeah. I should have said no after you left. What shows will you be attending later on this year? Um, I'm not 100% sure what I have coming up for the rest of this month. But in May, I have Slam Enough Ohio. Uh, we got Low at the Levee. I know you're going to be at probably both of those because yep. it's pretty close for you. Damn right. Pretty much every other Slam Enough event that's within reason um, that I've either been to or been recommended to because I won't just go to a show by myself usually. Um, sometimes I do every once in a while, but yeah. most of the time I'm there to you know, walk around for a little bit, see the cars, but then see my friends, hang out with the other vendors like Skyline over here at Dark Speed, my friends at JD Customs. like. Everywhere I walk, I get to see somebody. Very rare that I'll be at a show and not know anybody, but um, usually the only ones that I go to are where I know my friends are going to be there or it's like highly, highly recommended that I don't miss it. Well, thank you, Jack, for taking your time. I know we messed up on the first time with the audio cutting, so thankfully we get to do this again and we do it right, hopefully this time. But thank you again, Jack. Appreciate it. Uh, what is your Instagram? Uh, Stylinjack, S-T-Y-L-N dot J-A-C-K. Please follow my buddy here. Uh, I'll put his Instagram on the bottom of the video. Check him out. One of my good friends. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.
All right, guys, we're back here at Slam Enough Nashville. Back, I don't mean back because this is my first time here and I've never been here before, but the show is looking pretty good because today is Sunday. Yesterday we had a malfunction and I was pretty bummed. Hopefully this time it'll catch the audio because if not, I'm gonna chuck this camera. So I'm here with my friend. I'm Skylin. I'm Liam. So we have here their lovely Porsche, as you can tell, love the color green. Um, could you tell me more about this uh, car and the build and make and model? Yeah, so should I take it? Yeah. <laughs> it is a 987.1 Porsche Cayman S. So it's the six speed manual. Sand beige interior, I thought would not go well with the acid green exterior, but it worked out thankfully. Built the car from a two year plan into two weeks. I'll never do it again. What's it like having your first booth at Nashville? Honestly, surreal. I did not know that we would ever get to the point where we're going to have a award-winning show car, let alone a booth at a bigger show. It's just it's nice to have like hard work pay off, and I'm really, really happy. No, it's just super cool to be able to see her chase her dreams and stuff with this company, with this booth, and with her car, you know. Yeah. So, and it's even better that it gets to be in Nashville. You know, we're new to Tennessee still, so it's just super cool to be here. Can you tell me more about these <laughs> wheels? I look, I look pretty much look broke. <laughs> it's okay because I am broke. <laughs> we are, we are broke. <laughs> so I'm actually on Revolve wheels. They are three-piece floating spokes with brushed faces and polished lips. Um, heavily recommend Revolve. Shout out to Rob. We love Rob. He gave me some amazing wheels. I gave him some crazy specs and he said, let's do it. Tell him that. Tell him your experience. So we've been, I guess, kind of slightly working with Revolve for a while now. I'm on Revolve wheels as well. Oh. Uh, so it's super cool to be able to have my wife also on Revolve Wheels. Um, and the cool part about Revolve Wheels actually is that uh, when we were talking about getting married and everything, she actually told me to hold off on our engagement, hold off to buy the engagement ring so that I would buy Revolve Wheels. So it's cool to see it all come fully back to circle. You know, we're married now and now she's on Revolve Wheels. So just a really cool thing. Even though you had to put off to get the wheels, right? You still got the girl. Still got her. Still got, still got her. Still it's got permanent. Her. You ain't going nowhere. It's all good. Two years. Two almost years? Ma almost being married two years. Yep. Okay. Hell yeah. All the cars are still pulling in. Still. Prematurely. Still prematurely. So hopefully we'll see other, hopefully more builds too. Yeah. yeah. But anyways, yeah. catch you guys on the next interview. Uh, oh yeah, what's your Instagram? At skyland.ds and at darkspeed.co. Follow her, please, and support the page. And I'm liam.ds. Yes, follow this guy because he's very handsome. And then follow me if you want. And but follow him. Anyway, <laughs> bye. <laughs>